Before you start looking for homes, you wanna watch this video. I'm gonna share with you tips on how to get your offer accepted. I'm gonna share with you a bidding war I was in not that long ago, so that way you can see the results. Find out who your competition is. And I'm also gonna do a market trend, so that way you can see what kind of prices that are gonna be for the spring and summer market. And buyers, find out now what you gotta to do to get your offers accepted. And stay to the end, you never know, you might hear that nugget just to get your offer accepted. Hi, I'm Cindy Clarice and I'm a full-time realtor. I'm from this area. I help buyers and sellers move into the area in cities of St. Charles, St. Louis, Lincoln County. So if you ever need any help, please feel free to reach out, give me a call, text, email. I even have a link to my calendar. Yes, the market is still challenging. We're still experiencing low inventory. And when a hot property comes on the market, expect a bidding war. And buyers, you still have to pay for your closing costs. And if at all possible, if you can go cash, your biggest competition or cash offers. According to Redfin, investors had the biggest market share in cities like Atlanta and Phoenix. Even though investors have been in St. Louis because they like the mid-sized cities because they get the biggest bang for their buck. So let's see what kind of prices we can expect for the spring and summer market. I did my search on Maris. It's the official site for the St. Charles, St. Louis Board of Realtors. This site feeds out to Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, and hundreds of others. So I went back the past three years to get a market trend. And if you look at the year 2019, the medium home price was 239,900. Now again, the medium home price means half of the home sold above that price and half the home sold below that price in 2019 in St. Charles County. And in 2020, 257,897. And in 2021, 290,000. And you can see on the right how the sales volume grew a little bit each year. So homes that you liked last year, expect to pay a little bit more this year. And now that you got an idea of what to expect, expect it at a fast pace. You see it all the time. A house that you like, and then when you go back later, it's gone. So the house in the bidding war, it was up in St. Louis County. It was going for three fourteen nine. dollars As you walk to the house, you can just tell it was a hot property. It was very pristine, a lot of nice features in the home, and all the work was done with just quality work, you can just tell. And we went into the master bedroom. Oh my gosh, we were blown away by the size. The sellers had a room addition put on the house. Just check out the fireplace and the bathroom and the closet. So now let's take a look at the offers that came in. This is an email from the listing agent that she sent out to the offers after the seller chose the, the one that they wanted. There was a total of 10 contracts and seven of the offers were, were over asking price. Three of them were cash offers. Five were conventional offers. One was a VA, one was FHA. Two of them removed the appraisal rider Four of them were buying it as is offers. And one removed the building inspection and the inspection period. One offers a credit towards the seller's closing costs and title fees. One did a lease back with an option. And one also did a credit towards the seller's move. So you can just see how they're getting more creative with their offers. If you're thinking about writing an offer without doing a building inspection and negotiating any repairs on the condition of the house, well, you might want to bring a building inspector with you when you're going through the house or at least someone that's knowledgeable. A building inspector, they're not the know-all, but they are trained to inspect the areas of the home of concern. Hey, if you like what you're hearing, I appreciate you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. I also do other videos of community and lifestyles in the area. And sellers, if you've been thinking about selling, you might be shocked if you knew what kind of fortune you might be sitting on. So please reach out. I can give you an estimated value of your neighborhood. But if you like a personal evaluation, then just schedule a time on my calendar. And I also have a link below of my buyer and seller's guide. Walks you through the whole process and gets you familiar with the terminology. And also a link, 11 tips to pass a home inspection. Please feel free to reach out and stay safe.